A Roborovsky has bite wounds. This is a Roborovsky hamster, and it is well known for its speed. It is said to have run an equivalent of four human marathons each night on average. If healthy, one would not even be able to catch it. However, it seems lethargic now. What then is the cause for this particular hamster's lethargy? This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vet. This male hamster was pestering its mate after it had just given birth to a litter of hamsters. The female hamster was obviously irritated and bit the male hamster. While this had happened before with the previous litters, it was much more severe this time. And the owners brought him here to Dr. Singh at Tuapayo Vets to treat his wound and see if there was anything severely wrong with him. He's been bitten by the female hamster uh, and uh, so the, the bacteria started to spread and then he fell ill. Uh, so he was really very lethargic uh, yesterday he came. This Roborovsky hamster is one year old and is considered an adult. However, it only weighs 17 grams as compared to the normal weight of 20 to 25 grams. This hamster was bitten on its backside but the infection has spread to his nose and his neck. The Roborovsky hamsters are generally sociable, but at any point of time, aggression might occur. It is imperative to separate them if this occurs, as they might fight each other to death. So, did he lose appetite? Yeah, he lost appetite uh, after a while. For about, about five weeks already. He, he, he don't eat a lot. He used to be quite big, now he's like so small. How many pieces of poo did he put? Of poo? Uh, pieces of stew. Very little, right? Yeah, very little. Mm. Not, not as much. Mm. And he still has this thing. Yeah, the scab. Uh. Yeah, the scabs. It's under his body also, you see. All spread, uh, yeah. These are bacteria. Uh. Bacteria spread all we, over. We wash him, but then it doesn't drop off. Yeah. We use the spray. Uh. Yeah, we use the mite spray because we thought okay. he got mites. Mite spray would be worse. Uh. See, that's very itchy also, right? Yeah, he keeps scratching. Uh, so the diagnosis is skin infection from being bitten by the female dwarf hamster, which is the mother of the kids bought. Now you can see that they got this uh, skin disease, eh? crusted, crustiness, uh, and also especially his backside. And uh, even the nose is all affected. So I need to put him here and give him antibiotics, give him more sunflower seeds to, to strengthen him so that he becomes uh, stronger. But three days later then I will put him under anesthetic and clean and scrub off all the crustiness. At least let the new skin come back to heal. I mean. Otherwise all these things prevent the healing. I see that. Down, then pick up. And then we have a quick check here. Then his back side is quite clean already, but we still clean it. Then it was full of scab, then there's still some more scab here. There, there are more scabs here actually. There. Okay, get ready. This time we must remove, otherwise, he can't, he can't do it himself. Yeah. See, the infection is quite a lot from the bite, biting by the. By the then what the female and beat him yeah. badly. Yeah. That's why he was lethargic. Yeah. In fact, the whole thing is already affected. Eh? The whole thing yeah. is spreading up also. Ready? Anesthetic again. We need anesthetic again. 
so it's not really down yet. I mean, I think we will do do another day because it's very weak already. Right it can't take it. Okay, so you can see there. All these are the things we have been taken out. So this is the third day. So we, we don't we don't stress him out. Otherwise, he dies uh, and then it's the end of it. Yeah. So we will wait another two more days. Uh. But you can see that the whole body is full of infection and eh, the crustiness. There, all this. It will take some time with antibiotics. Okay. Uh, but as you can see today, after antibiotics, he really had an excellent appetite. He has eaten all his sunflower seeds. So his appetite has been much better after antibiotics, oral antibiotics, huh? and painkillers. You can see he definitely has a good appetite. Can't take the gas because the gas is uh, five. Now when he's uh, when he's awake, it's very hard to clean him because he's very active. But you can see that the scabs are still there, and only under anesthetic can we remove it. Remove as much as we can, so we can send him home already. Of course, the hair will come up because this is a dead skin. Uh. This is a dead skin. It's like, like in dogs and cats, if you don't... Mm. Hmm? Skin, okay. Hmm? Right. okay. Okay, we will just do the minimum, just bit by bit. Yeah. Now we can't do much because the, the skin might break ulcers. Yeah. Come then, then see the... the, the, the. Okay, so, so we can see these are the scabs, which you can't remove when he's very active. So this is about the most we can do. And then he will go home and let him recover. Hamster skin infections can be due to bites when they are housed together. They may be the best of friends when young, but when they grow up, they may act hostile. The owner should separate them after they mature at around 2 months old. In addition, the owner should be observant of changes in hamsters, especially whether they have bite wounds.